Hi, welcome to Tom's Planner. Here are some great tips and tricks that'll make working with Tom's Planner even easier and will have you planning like a pro in no time. So do you use Tom's Planner a lot? Well, this is your chance to upgrade your skills. Let's start with some simple shortcut keys. This one comes in handy if you're listing all the activities of a project. First, select a row. And now if you press Control and enter at the same time, you'll create a new row. Very convenient when you need a whole bunch of rows for your project. You can select all the items in the chart by pressing Control A. In this way, you can move the complete planning at once to a week later, for example. Another shortcut key I use quite often is the Control Z combination. This will undo your latest action. Wish we had this in real life sometimes. While creating your planning, instead of using the right-click menu to add time blocks to your chart every time, you can simply drag them from the legend and modify them to any length needed. You can do the same with icons, see? And did you know that you could rearrange the colors and icons in the legend yourself by dragging them into another order? Another neat trick makes it easy to duplicate one or more existing time blocks. So first you make a selection, now hold down the Alt key while you drag the selection of time blocks to the new dates. Once you're done dragging, release the selection and it'll be duplicated to the new dates. There you go. This is especially practical when you have recurring sets of activities or if you wanna block a day in your chart, for example. Tom's Planner also offers several special column types. You can add them to your chart by right-clicking on a column and selecting the special columns option from the menu. I've added all of them to this chart already. Let me show you. This is the auto number column, which gives each row a different number so you can refer to it easily. This is a row with traffic lights to indicate a status, and you can change the color by simply clicking on them. This row allows you to include an icon for each row. These two columns automatically show the start and end dates of each activity based on the time blocks that have been placed. You can change these dates by simply clicking on them. And this is the duration column that shows you how many days are planned for each row, also automatically based on the time blocks that have been placed in the chart. Uh, over here at the bottom, it shows the total duration of all time blocks in the chart. So for example, if you need a total number of days for a specific person or color, just use the filter option and the total amount of time will adjust to the new total. We'll hide these columns for now. By the way, this filter option also comes in handy when you want to search for anything specific like a comment, asset, activity, or person. You can even make a clear to-do list for the day by adding a name to the filter and selecting today. And there it is, simple and clear. All right, so now that we have a decent chart again, I'll show you some easy ways to navigate it. Have you already noticed these arrows? When you click on them, the chart will scroll to the specific task. Also, the scroll bar itself has a nifty right-click menu that allows you to quickly scroll to the start or end of your schedule or to the current day or a specific date. And don't forget that by holding the spacebar, you can drag the chart to any position manually. And finally, one more tip, if you close the tool just after you made some changes, you might get this alert. It warns you that you have unsaved changes. What I always do just before I close the tool is press Control S on my keyboard. This saves the latest changes instantly and prevents this warning from coming up when you close your browser window. All right, now you've become a true Tom's Planner guru. We're excited to have you and hope you enjoy Tom's Planner.